Hi, I'm Juniper and welcome to Juniper's World. I hope everyone's having a good day today. I'm, I don't know. Uh, my video, if you see by the thumbnail, is my Ipsy Plus box. And I got, let's see, I'm shooting this on Thursday. I got the box on Tuesday. And it was too late in the day and I didn't want to do it. I was going to film it yesterday. And I got all made up. And I had been noticing over the summer that every once in a while I would find something missing out of my bathroom. I don't have a beauty room. I have a bathroom and then I have different places in the house where I film and where I get ready. But over the summer, all my makeup was in the bathroom and it wasn't anything <clears throat> I could never put my finger on it. it. wasn't like, oh, where is that Ofra lip gloss? It it was like, didn't something used to be in that spot? That kind of deal. Um, so I moved all of my makeup into my bedroom. This fall and of course nothing's come up missing since then and um but i have one plastic organizer in my bathroom that still has like some beauty creams and it, it has some lipstick still in it and stuff. And this friend came over yesterday and asked to use the bathroom. And then she came back out. We talked Then I had to use the restroom. Well, I noticed that the drawers to this component, one of the drawers was pulled out. And I hadn't even been in that drawer for I don't know how long. And so, and then I noticed there was an empty spot in where the lipsticks go. But I don't know that there was anything in there. Knowing me, with my OCD, it would, there would be something in every spot. But I, I can't tell you what that is. So I went out to her and I just said, it's time to go. And oh, okay. I No, it's time to go. Well, what's the matter? I said, well, if you're going to steal from me, at least put the drawers back so that it doesn't look so obvious. I don't know what you're talking about. I said, the drawers told her the story. And she goes, oh, you've always let me use that lip gloss. No, 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 no. I do not swap spit with females. No, I would not. Oh, yeah, I yelled from the bathroom and I used a Q-tip. I said, now you're just starting to sound dumb. So then I just didn't feel like recording yesterday. And today I'm still, I've wasted four and a half minutes of my day thinking and talking about this girl again just discouraged, but at least I know she's out of my life. I know who was doing it now. And it, it's, it's just so disheartening. 
I actually thought we were friends. But, and I was always generous with my makeup. If there was something I got, because she loves bronzer, she loves bronzer, I'd give her a bronzer. I'd give her stuff. If you want it, I'll give it to you. Ask me. Don't steal it. So, I'm sorry to start this off on a bad note. I, that's just the kind of week I'm having. But, on the other hand, I do want to bust into this Ipsy box because it has been staring me down for two days now. I have only cut the tape. And let's see what is inside October 2009 Ipsy Glam Plus. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And it says discover yourself on the back of the lid. That's what it looks like. Oh, I have seen some spoilers on this. I see right on top, and um, you do get a big fold out on what you're getting. Um, prices? No prices. I hate that. Yeah, Ipsy. We talked about this before. Let's get with it. And I guess the theme of this month's box is flaunt it. Looks like I'm flaunting these cheeks today, boy. <laughs> That's some blush. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. The first thing... Oh my gosh... is this adorable black Betty Boop makeup bag with black sequins on the back and a little heart for a zipper, the zipper pull, and red satin lining if anybody is Buddy Boop, it is my mother. Black curly hair, big green eyes, short and kind of stacked <laughs> mom. <laughs> but my mom is Betty Boop. And I We've talked about it over the years. That's too much. Anyway, the first thing I see, I really like. It's by Pharmacy, and it's the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I love cleansing balms. I do a double cleanse at night. I use a cleansing balm to take all this off. And then I use CeraVe um, moisturizing soap to actually clean my face. And this is a nice, nice big tub of it. That'll last a long time. Right now I'm working on a tub of Neutrogena that's going to last me forever. This will last me through the winter, I'm sure, with my other one that I'm working on right now. The next thing I see, oh, we have two from the same, S-A-E-M, and they are natural avocado and natural shea butter uh, face masks. Face masks are always nice, unless you get the pull-away kind, 
and you get too close to your eyebrows, it happened. I'm hoping as they grow out, I can at least groom them to grow in the right way because this one, this part right here wants to grow that way. I mean, I heard the hair. It was bad. Bad. And again, no prices. I feel like I'm really not doing much of a unboxing if I don't give prices. And then we have the Betty Boop Cheek to Cheek uh, Blush Trio, which I've seen that this was a, a product, but I've never seen anyone open it. So just like that, very sleek. Comes with a nice mirror and three very pretty blushes. Very pretty. Oh, I don't know if you can see it better now. This plastic was on it. Those are very nice. I think those are very universal. Could, could be a little bit darker if you ask me, but for deeper skin tones, but, um, the work for me. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And then the next thing is the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsession Palette. And I do not have a single, no, I have the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. That's the only Huda Beauty product I own. That's very pretty. It's got a nice mirror. And there are the shades. It looks like there's eight mattes and the one shimmer in the middle. That screams fall to me. Very pretty. Then, what's this? An eyeshadow by Colored Rain, which I have a hard time reaching for single shadows. I have a basket of single shadows right there. They're mostly filled with ColourPop shock shadows, <laughs> um, super shock, but um, I have a hard time reaching for singles. But, see what shade this is. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see. This is like a shimmery taupe. That's very pretty. That I would reach for. That's very pretty. Yeah, I'll reach for that. I could see me using that. I do like my shimmers. And my glitters. And then from Cela, C-E-L-A, is Creme de la Creme, the very best cream lotion let's see how it smells it's got a nice safety seal did i there we go Oh, 
what is that smell? It smells very good. Oh, it's, um, you're going to laugh. I think it's fruity pebbles. I think that's what that smell is. I like it, but it sounds like a strange uh, association, but that's what it smells like to me. <clears throat> now, I remember I got to pick two things, um, or I got to pick something, but then I had two add-ons for $3, and I can't remember what they were, but this is one thing that I picked when we had a choice. It's the Lu, Lu L apostrophe E A U serum. Um it's right there. Let's see if this intensive hydrating cereal cereal <laughs> serum by BioRace locks in moisture and keeps your skin soft and supple ideal for all skin types it enhances your complexion instantly and can be applied to the entire face after cleansing avoid the eye area that's good to know there's my dog making himself a little bit. Avoid the eye area, because sometimes I'll bring my moisturizer up to here. So I'll definitely not be doing that. I think this was one of my $3 add-ons. Unicorn Glow Long Wearing Primer. I think that was an add-on and that's 0.35 ounces yeah that was definitely an add-on there's a primer oh and this was the other thing um cc plus um full coverage cream and age defying hydrating serum that was the other thing i picked and I got mine in the shade Fair. So I've tried their products. I think I've tried almost all of them. But now that I'm wearing a little bit heavier foundation than I used to, I used to only spot conceal and not wear anything to even out my coverage but um i want to see how this how i feel about this now a few more things all right from lenum verbena oh no that's it's from ibom it is a lemon verbena clay mask which Clay masks aren't known for pulling hair out, that's for sure. So I'll be excited to try that. My experience hasn't ruined me for all masks. Just the ones that really tug at your skin. And I did know about these. These are from Farah. It's three... Um, three brushes which I was going to try to open yeah I haven't seen anybody open them to see what kind we have oh they almost looked royal blue doesn't want to come off there we go so we have three brushes right there. I like Farrah brushes. 
we have the cheeky end number 218 these in the sun these look royal blue then we have the stippling 40 fm and then we have 20 i think it's ef i think something rubbed it off straight brush that would be good for concealer under the eyes and I did see someone's video that these were worth $50. So, I'm not mad about that. And then, from Siest Moi Reflect Lip Gloss. right there I go ahead and open it oh that's pretty it's like a silvery gray maybe as a lip topper but it, it's very pretty. A couple more things here. From Kaleido Cosmetics. This is Obsidian Waterproof Liquid Liner. And I was wondering if this is a felt. To, oh, I didn't show you. I'm sorry. I was wondering if this was a felt tip or a brush. It's all wrapped in plastic. If I can get it off quickly, I'll tell you. Come on. It's coming. All right. And this is a felt tip. And it's not bleeding at all. It went on very smooth. And then the last thing in the box is the last thing in the box is my favorite, I can't believe this is in here, Private Doctors Minus Serum. This is my favorite wrinkle cream. I absolutely love it. So, wow. If you can afford this full size, I highly suggest it. So, that was my October 2019 Ipsy Glam Plus box. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would also appreciate if you could subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And until my next video, I hope you all are safe, happy, and healthy. Peace.